In this video, I'm going to go over a C program for finding the length of the smallest word in a string. So we'll make a test string here. We'll say car s is equal to this is the way. And the smallest word in the string is is with two characters there. So we'll make a function to help us solve this. We'll say int smallest word car star s. And the function is going to set a string as an argument. And it's going to return the length of the smallest word in the string. We're going to include string.h to help us because string.h includes all kinds of helpful functions for working with strings, and we're going to use a couple of them in our solution. And the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to step through this string one character at a time. We're going to have a loop that's going to help us keep track of the length of a word. So it's going to step through a word specifically, and it's going to keep track of the length of that word. And then we're going to have another loop that's going to step through any delimiters, any things that could be separating two words. And then once we've, we've done that, then we're going to step through the next word again. And as we do that, we're going to keep track of the length of the word that we've currently stepped through. And if ever it is smaller than the current smallest word we found, we're going to say that's the new smallest word we found in terms of its length. So we're going to keep track of a minimum as we go. So let's actually solve this problem now. We'll say here int len is equal to strlens. So strlen, string length. That's a function that comes with string.h, and it just finds the length of the string. And we're going to use that to help us identify when we've reached the end of the string. We're going to make a couple more variables here. We'll say int count is equal to zero. Count is going to keep track of the count of characters of each word. We're going to have a current minimum that we're going to keep track of, as in other words, the smallest word we've found so far. So we'll say here int min is equal to, and I'm going to make it something absurdly large, like 100,000. So there's no way that there's a word that is 100,001 characters long, right? So any word we find is going to be smaller than this. And so we're going to say that that is our, our minimum for now, but any word we find is going to be smaller than this. And then that'll become the new minimum word length that we found. Okay, and then we'll make one more variable for indexing through the string. So I is going to keep track of our current index in the string as we look at it one character at a time. So we're going to have an outer loop. The outer loop is going to just identify when we've reached the end of the string. So it's just going to stop once we've reached the end of the string. And then what we'll do is we'll have two inner loops. And the first inner loop is going to identify the first word in the string. And then the next inner loop is going to identify the separators and step through those. So we'll say here count is equal to zero. We'll say while i is less than len if str chr non words si doesn't equal null break so what we're going to do is we're going to have a special character array called non words and this is going to keep track of the potential delimiter characters we're going to call them so characters like space characters like period these things could separate words right like spaces could separate words a period and a space that could separate words. You could have like a comma and a space separating words. And what we want to do is we want to identify when, when we've reached one of these characters that is a non-word character, that is a character that is a delimiter between words. So we're going to have a special character, right? We're going to say car non-words is equal to, we'll say space, period, comma, semicolon, tab, and new line. And we're saying that these are characters that are delimiters. They're the things that could separate words. And here what we're doing is we're saying, okay, if the character we're looking at currently in our string, when we try to find it in non-words, if it doesn't equal null, then we want to break. So the way this function works, the strchr function, the way it works is that if it can find this character in this string here, it's going to return a pointer to the position of that character in the string. So if the character we're currently looking at in our string here can be found in non-words, it's going to return a non-null value. It's going to return a pointer to that character in this array here. So in other words, once we reach space, if we reach a comma, if we reach a period, then this function is not going to return null. So that's why we're saying here, like, if the function doesn't equal null, when we give it these arguments here, then we want to break because that means we've reached the end of a word. That's the signifier for when we reach the end of a word. Otherwise, 
if that hasn't happened, we're going to say I++ plus plus count plus plus. So we're going to keep incrementing through the string one character at a time. And we're going to keep incrementing our count of characters that are in the word that we've identified so far. And then once we've done this, we're going to say here, if count is less than min, set min equal to count. And what we're doing here is we're updating the minimum value if the count of the word we're looking at currently is less than the minimum. So in other words, if we found a new minimum word because count is less than the current minimum, set min equal to count because that is the new minimum then. Okay, now the way this function works, if it doesn't find the character here in the array here is that it returns null. So in the case of like T, H, I, S, and like all these letter characters here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna return null each time. So that's why we can say here, like if it doesn't equal null, then that's when we wanna break in that case, right? What we're gonna do to recognize the end of the delimiters is we're gonna check for when it does equal null. So like if, we're, if we wanna step through these delimiters here, if we wanna step through the, the comma and the space here, we're gonna know that we've reached the next word when the character that we're looking at currently can't be found in this array here. So when it can't be found in this array here. And we know that it can't be found in this array here when this function returns null for that character. So our next loop is gonna step through the separators like that. We're gonna say here, well, i is less than length, i plus plus, if though, str, chr, non-words si is equal to null, then we break. So we're gonna break at that point because once we've identified that the character can't be found in there, so in other words, the character we're looking at currently, whatever it is, is not in here because the function is returning null, that's when we know we've reached the next word, that's when we know we wanna go up here again in the next execution of this loop body here and start counting the next word again, okay? And then when we're done all of this, we'll have found the minimum. So we'll say here, return min. So we can output the result here. We'll say here, int smallest is equal to, we'll call the function with s, and then we'll say printf smallest. We'll just, we'll just output the number. Okay, so then we'll compile this here and run it, and we get smallest of two. If I maybe up this to three characters there, we should get smallest of three. If I made it like a one character word there, and we do a compilation and run it, I get one. And so we've written a function here that's gonna allow us to find the length of the smallest word in a string in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.